Hey Lions fans, welcome into the First Bank Coaches Show. We're here this week with uh, head golf coach Randall Rhodes. Um, and coach, thanks for, have, thanks for being on the show with us. Uh, just wanted to start off asking you about all the success the women's team's been having this year. Uh, I guess we'll go ladies first. Um, yeah. I know the women's team's been really successful as a group, and uh, especially Bailey Gilbert's been playing really well as well. Yeah, it's a real exciting time, and uh, th thanks for having me on the show again. Uh, yeah, our women has uh, started out the season just in a great way. Um, we uh, our very last our last tournament here, uh, we played at the links at, at Kahiti in Bemori, uh, Tennessee. Uh, the women uh, had a great tournament. In fact, the second day they came back uh, and shot uh, uh, 11 shots better, which to me sound like a whole lot, but that comes out to about two and a half shots better per player yeah. uh, per round. So. It was a great day. Um, you, you mentioned Bailey Gilbert. She had a great tournament. I believe she shot 74-77 in the tournament. Uh, played great that first day. Had an eagle and I think four birdies, if I remember correctly. Uh, second day, uh, didn't have as strong a game, but she pulled it out. She stayed in it uh, very, very well. Yeah. What, what place did she finish in that tournament overall? Uh, she finished in tie for third place. Okay. Yeah, That's she was awesome. one of the medalists, which is a wonderful yeah. accomplishment. In addition to that, she was named uh, Mid Mid South Conference Player of the Week last week. Yeah. Yeah, that was a big accomplishment as well for our golf team. Um, now I know at the beginning of the year, the very first tournament, uh, she she wasn't on the the first team there. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, uh, you know, one of the things that we have on the golf uh, golf team is we we qualify for positions, and those that uh, qualify the highest, those are who get chose to to travel to tournaments. And uh, uh, of course, our first tournament, we we took all of our players. Uh, but Bailey wasn't on that first team. Uh, but since then, she played very well at that tournament, and she has continued to play well uh, every tournament since then. Uh, yeah. She is playing some great golf. Really proud of her. Yeah. So that just that competition just drives everything. It does yeah. absolutely, absolutely. And one thing you know about Bailey too, she is an unbelievable leader on our team. Uh, you know, she dealt with some adversity there. She overcame it very well. Yeah. Uh, again, she's performing uh, very at a very very high level now. And uh, as a leader, she's a great example, but she also leads her fellow teammates in great ways. And uh, our, our program is on an upward trend, and she's a big reason why. Yeah. And, that, and she's a senior this year, that's what, yeah. That's correct. That you get, correct. It's funny how you get senior leadership from a lot of people that, are, that have been around and experienced a few things. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And she has great experience, and uh, uh, she's teaching her, her teammates very well. Okay, well that's awesome. All right, we'll talk about the guys too. I know they've had a lot of success as well. They um, have, yeah. Um, they've actually only played two tournaments so far. The women have played three, so sort of a little bit behind in terms of number of tournaments, but we're going to make that up pretty quick toward the end of this month. Uh, but we've had a lot of success there as well. Uh, we've had, um, I believe, three top tens already this year, just in the two, team, uh, two tournaments that we've had. And uh, they're coming along very well. Uh, we are playing, actually, uh, on the men's side. And actually, the women's not that much different. But um, we have three seniors that are, tip that are playing on the top five on the men's team. But we also have two very young players uh, yeah. that are playing, uh, a freshman and a sophomore that have played thus far. Uh, on our men's team, and uh, they're doing very well as well. So talk about, the, when you say the team, obviously you have more than just the four or five players you take to each tournament. Correct. So give us a little bit more on how you decide, I mean not how you decide, but like how that process works, how the scoring works, and when we say you finished in second place or whatever, tied for third place, how, does that, how do they calculate all that? Yeah, absolutely. So. As I mentioned earlier, we have qualifiers mm -hmm. that, that all of the players play in. Uh, and we typically, uh, or we've had those on Saturdays. Uh, and they play 18-hole qualifiers. And to this point, I think we've had four of those. Okay. Um, and so how the players perform in those qualifiers uh, have a large uh, role in who gets to travel. Now you talked about like how they finish in tournament. That also plays into our decisioning okay, in terms right. of who gets to travel to tournaments. And there's other factors as too in, in terms of uh, uh, player engagement, how, how they're much they're working hard and practicing <laughs> and all those things go into determining who okay. goes to tournaments. Right. And then the scoring in each tournament, you have five players that play on the team. And, That's correct. And they all, all of those five scores count. So actually what happens is uh, all five uh, score their score and the, the score that is the highest gets thrown out in terms of what gets counted for okay. the team. 
Uh, and then, the, so the top four scores. So you get the four can, best scores as your team score for that tournament. That is correct. Okay. For that round, you know. So if we right. have we have two rounds, then you know the second round it could be a different four players, you know, okay. or a different fifth score that gets yeah. uh, you know, not used. Okay. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, well, tell everybody about. I know we've got coming up um, in a couple of weeks here, right? Two weeks, um, a big fundraiser event, a, yes. a scramble tournament. Uh, that's really important for our program. So give everybody yeah, some information absolutely. about that. Yeah, absolutely. Our, uh, our fundraiser our tournament will occur on Saturday, October the 14th. Mm -hmm. uh, it is at 9 a.m. It's uh, going to be a shotgun start. It's a scramble tournament uh, played out at our home golf course, Chickasaw Golf Course. And uh, we're looking for uh, teams to register for that. I think we're, we're currently up uh, in 20, 25 teams right now. Okay, so awesome. we do have a yeah. few more um, openings uh, to, uh, for any, any teams that are willing to join us. Uh, we also have a, a lot of sponsors that have been so gracious to sponsor us in that tournament. And as you said, all the, the, the entry fees, the registration, and the, the sponsorships that we get go directly to operating the program. We, we need those funds. Uh, to to complement you know what we receive budget wise from Freed Hardeman to be able to to play our schedule you know to play yeah. pay our tournament fees to travel to tournaments uh, you know have equipment such as golf balls and things of that nature so yeah we're really excited about that it's a great opportunity for our players to meet our supporters and our supporters to spend time with players uh, we'll actually have players on the golf course that's hitting tee shots and, and hitting putts so that those that are participating in the tournament they can actually use player shots so it's kind of a yeah. fun thing yeah. you know and it kind of gets a kind of gets that kind of interaction have some engagement between exactly. the fans yeah that's awesome yeah and and now where do we go where do people go if they want to register sign up how do they find out more information there? the best way to do that is go to uh, go fhu lions and go to our golf website there and there's a link that's called 2023 scramble okay and from there there's a link to go into and to register a team or to sponsor or okay. be a sponsor in the tournament. All right. Well, awesome. Um, thank you, Coach. We really appreciate you being here again. Um, remember, if you want to sign up a team for the, the golf scramble, uh, go FHULions.com. Uh, look at the link in the description of this video as well. And um, we hope to see you guys out there supporting our teams. Uh, and that's another episode of the First Bank Coaches Show. Thank you for watching the First Bank Coaches Show. We would like to thank our sponsor, First Bank. If you're looking for more information on FHU Athletics, you can go to our website, gofhulions.com, or you can follow all of our social media accounts at gofhulions on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you want more information about the director circle or linebackers, there's a link in the description below, uh, and there's also a video with more information that should appear on your screen right here. Thank you so much for watching today. Go Lions!